Listen, there are a lot of things that I am unemotional about, but one of those things is not the New York Yankees. We are Yankee fans. We are New Yorkers and we have high expectations. And so it would be extremely unbecoming of me to get on this platform or any other platform and not absolutely talk shit when they underperform. Quite honestly, was not very happy about how Severino came out in the Subway series. There's a lot of eyes on us when you got about five to $600 million combined on the field. So the game isn't even over yet. And I'm not sure, I'm, I'm actually watching it here, um, which is the first time I've done this for my content. I am sitting here and like I said, was very upset with how Seve came out and was already relegating him back to Scranton. Like, I'm not going to sit here and deal with it. It's just too much for me emotionally. Um, secondly, secondly, I'm happy that he had an opportunity to get the win, I believe, in the fifth inning. Love that Boone comes out and expresses his confidence in Seve. That's one of the things that I think Aaron Boone does really, really well and does better than some managers out there. I think that in the beginning of Boone's tenure, I don't think that he leaned into the former player, you know, pedigree as much as he probably should have. And so now there's just like this moxie, right? Like that I've noticed ever since the, since the infamous, my dudes are savages in that fucking box. Get out of there! So I think that was a big turning point, especially for the fans, right? Like we, I mean, as New Yorkers, as like toxic as it can be, one of the things we are really good at is toxic masculinity, baby. Like, I'm not gonna glorify it and say it's a great thing, but there is something about New York City, and particularly the Bronx, where we just have a certain level of respect for guys who kind of come out there and really are kind of puffing their chests out, telling you who the fuck they are, et cetera, et cetera. So just wanted to come out, out here in the middle of the game, share a little bit of my thoughts because yeah, I, we're, it's tied right now, 6-6. Six, six, and yeah, we'll just see how the rest of this goes. Obviously, if you are watching this currently with me or on a replay after the game, would love for you to like and subscribe. I'm trying to find my niche here on just content creation stuff, but definitely can't get enough of my New York Yankees. And if you just want to hear me shit talk, which is what my specialty is in life, absolutely like, subscribe, follow, do all the above. Appreciate you checking in and stopping by Mish Monster Sports.